Good evening. I'm Maury Oaken, the president of Detroit Chamber Winds and Strings, and on behalf of our musicians, our board, and our staff, it's my pleasure to welcome you to Holiday Brass. We're glad you could join us, and special thanks to those who have made donations to help us compensate our musicians for making the beautiful music we're about to share. We're in the middle of our most important funding drive, DCWS in December, and if you'd like to help us by making a contribution, please visit our website, www.detroitchamberwinds.org. Now I'm especially proud to introduce representatives of the two firms whose generosity has made Holiday Brass possible for so many years, COVID-19 notwithstanding. Please welcome our friends from Butts and Long and the Center for Financial Planning, and then enjoy some great music. Happy holidays to all. Greetings and happy holidays. I'm Tim Wyman, Managing Partner here at Center for Financial Planning in Southfield, Michigan. And we are once again, very pleased and proud to be a supporter of Detroit Chamber Winds and Strings and certainly of this, this concert. This year, we're excited to be celebrating our 35th anniversary. It's a, certainly a special time for us. And we have a long history of supporting our communities and the arts, going way back to our founders, Estelle Wade, Marilyn Gunther, Dan Boyce, uh, all of them have been in, uh, involved in the Detroit Chamber Winds and Strings. So on behalf of the 30 members of the Center for Financial Planning, we hope that you enjoy this virtual concert uh, in this year 2020. Be safe, be well, and have a great holiday. Hello and happy holidays to all of you. I'm Justin Klimko, the president of Butts Along. Our firm is proud to have sponsored Holiday Brass for Detroit Chamber Winds and Strings for over two decades. Unfortunately, we're unable to gather in person for this year's concert, which is typically held in beautiful and majestic settings. Happily, however, we're still able to enjoy this wonderful music performed by outstanding musicians. Butts Along has been around for over 160 years, so we've seen other difficult times. We know we'll all see better days ahead. In that spirit, we look forward to greeting you in person next year. But in the meantime, let's all share some holiday cheer. Please join us in enjoying this superb concert. And from all of us at Butts Along, best wishes for a healthy, happy, and normal 2021. <laughs>
Hello, I'm Tim Weiss, the conductor. Such a pleasure to be back again with the Detroit Chamber Winds and Strings for this holiday brass concert. The next piece is Sussex Mummer's Christmas Carol. This is a traditional old English Christmas carol with such a beautiful, velvety, slow melody. I can't tell you how great it is to have this chance to make music live again. It has been such a pleasure for all of us and so heartwarming. I hope you enjoy this program. Giovanni Gabrielli wrote his Kenzone Septimitoni for the great St. Mark's Cathedral in Venice. He was the Kapellmeister there from 1585 until his death. As this piece was written for the acoustics of St. Mark's Cathedral, it features two brass choirs that perform antiphonally, one on this side, one on the other side. And musically, they exchange material back and forth, almost in echo of one another. All of these pieces from the Sacra Symphony employ two different kinds of musical material, music that feels like it's in four and music like it, that feels like it's in three. These pieces are masterworks that have been loved by generations of brass players for hundreds of years. I hope you enjoy Kenzone Septimitoni.
Hello everyone, my name is David Jackson. Hope you're enjoying our concert so far. The next part of our program will feature our holiday brass trombone quartet playing two very traditional Christmas carols. Lo, how a rose air blooming, in angels we have heard on high. And I'm joined in the quartet by three wonderful players, David Bender from the Detroit Symphony, Elizabeth Schaefer, who is the trombone professor at Akron University and a member of the Serif Brass, and on bass trombone, Brian Picorni, a member of the Lansing Symphony. Hope you enjoy, and thank you again for coming.
Thank you once again for supporting Detroit Chamber Winds and Strings and our Holiday Brass Concert. My name is David Ammer, and I play the trumpet and occasionally the part of the horse. Our next piece is a popular carol from the Ukraine, which was written in the early 20th century called Carol of the Bells. It's distinctive because it has a repeating pattern played over and over. Uh, in music, we call this an ostinato, and it sounds like this. We have two versions of this carol which we'd like to perform for you. The first version will be sung by the chancel choir of Kirk in the Hills, and they will perform Carol of the Bells in its standard version. The second version that we will perform is an arrangement that was done for brass quintet by our friend trumpeter Nick Hansinger. In humankind, there's been many cases in history of great things happening by accident. One example of this is in the late 19th century, two brothers from Battle Creek, Michigan accidentally left out some cooked wheat. It went stale, but in order to salvage it, they rolled it out, toasted it, and made it servable. They decided to call this dish cornflakes, and their last name, of course, was Kellogg. Our friend Nick Hansinger had a similar experience when he chose to arrange Carol of the Bells. There was a glitch with the software uh, that he was using on his computer, and it accidentally moved that repeating ostinato part that I played earlier uh, so that it was displaced and uh, set up the wrong way. So in this version of Carol of the Bells, you'll hear the repeating ostinato part, but it'll be separated until it all comes together. When he went back to listen to this, he'd realized his mistake, or the computer's mistake, but thought it sounded really cool, and so do we. So we hope you'll enjoy our two versions of Carol of the Bells.
Hi, I'm Bob White. I'm one of the trumpeters with DCWS. Thank you so much for joining us for this holiday music program. I want to tell you about a few pieces the brass quintet is going to be performing. The first one it comes from a set called Christmas Crackers. You'll recognize the tunes as Deck the Halls and Jingle Bells, but they've been set in a really nice arrangement by John Iveson, who is a British trombonist who played with and conducted the famous Philip Jones Brass Ensemble for many years. And a Christmas cracker, if you want to know, is a children's uh, novelty that's associated with Christmas dinner. They sit on the table, they look like a big Jolly Rancher, and the kids will pull on each end, and it pops with an explosion, and whichever kid has the bigger uh, side at the end gets the prize in the middle. It's a fun little toy. The next tune that we're going to play is the famous carol, Silent Night. Um, it's set here in a really beautiful arrangement by Richard Price with almost jazzy harmonies uh, sort of enriching the warm and lyrical texture of this famous song. And of course, Christmas isn't the only holiday taking place around this time of year. The dreidel song helps us commemorate Hanukkah in sort of a rip-roaring fashion in an arrangement by Les Deutsch. And I want to tell you a little bit about this arranger, Les Deutsch. Uh, he actually works for the Jet Propulsion Laboratories in California, but he's also an active uh, amateur musician and professional arranger. And he's set the dreidel song in uh, sort of the Franz von Suppe mode uh, with this sort of brilliant galloping overture-like finish. So we hope you'll enjoy these brass quintet tunes. And thank you again for joining us.
Our next selection is Handel's aria, Let the Bright Seraphim, from his oratorio, Samson. It is one of his most florid and virtuosic arias for soprano. Thank <laughs> you. 
I hope you've enjoyed the concert tonight. It's been such a pleasure to put this together for you. We're going to end with the Hallelujah Chorus, and I'm so pleased to be joined here with Glenn Miller, the music director at Kirk in the Hills. Glenn, nice to have you here. Thank you very much, and on behalf of the Kirk, we extend our best wishes to you this holiday season. We are so delighted to have been a part of this production, the Kirk Chancel Choir, and all of the musicians. Um, we wish you all a very happy holiday season. Happy holidays. Thank you.
Hello, my name is Nicole Joseph, and welcome to the sing-along portion of our holiday brass concert. Follow along with the words on your screen and sing along with me from the comfort of your home. Happy holidays from our house to yours. Just see. 